And as you can see, you can see checking our line as well as checking the uh, worm. You can see how it was damaged, and so we'll have to work it back onto the Senko before we cast next. But it looks like it's good. Another one on a Senko. Looks like the little guys want to play today too. You can see it's well hooked with a two on warm hook. I guess when we got off one of the beds and you can see it's at uh, Senko where we had to chop off the front end to uh, reuse it. And uh, looks like the bass still like it. It's fine. All right, here's another one. And one thing we like about having light line is how the line will go through the Senko, but we lessen the damage so we can keep reusing it. So still able to use this one. So we can get another one. All right, so here we are again with another bass. Same Senko worm. Same situation where we got the uh, line going through, but we're able to reuse it, so I think we can use this one some more. So, good stuff. All right, another bass on a Senko, and then we can see how the line has gone through the Senko. And uh, we got another one on the Senko, and you can see the Senko is pretty much beaten up. Right. So we're going to call it a trip, and... See if we can get this posted, and hopefully some of y'all will see how we uh, have been using our, which is the 4-inch Yamasenko, made by Gary Yamamoto. And we use the watermelon black, and with the black and red flake.